Hey, what's up, Epic Gamers? Today we're gonna talk about art. Art? Really? Parker, the last videos you've uploaded are memes and an edit of a marina video. Why this? Why now? Just why? I hear you. Ooh, Magic Charles. It's his talent show. You say? I'm aware of that, but my first couple videos on this channel were speed paint videos, and also each time I try to film me drawing the computer, I use crashes and I lose all the footage. I promise that isn't an excuse. I've been trying to do this for months. I finally figured it out, so I actually have some footage of me drawing for this video. I'm sorry, it's bandy camp, but it's the only thing that's working currently that isn't making my computer crash. All that aside, I essentially have been drawing for a long time, and I wanted to talk about a topic the art community is kind of touchy on. Whether you're stealing it, trying to get one, or using it to cover up your janky ass anatomy, and the fact that you really don't want to take criticism, art styles are all the rage in the community for no reason. If you don't know what an art style is, it's literally just the way someone draws. People draw differently, thus different art styles. Wow! This video is gonna be in segments, so. Let's get started on part one. Why do people need and want an art style so bad? That's probably one of my biggest questions when it comes to art style. Every, everybody is obsessed with having one. And when it all actuality, it's a really simple thing. And it comes from the influences that you use when you learned how to draw. Just about every big art YouTuber talks about art style. I'm no exception, i.e. this video but they usually talk about how they personally developed an art style and how to help you find yours, which puts a lot of importance on something that really isn't that important and is very susceptible to change. You learn to draw and art style is developed. And as you learn and improve, your art style changes with it. Just look at photos of my old art until now. Art style can be influenced by the artists you like. And if you imitate an artist's style, you're likely to pick up things that you like about the way they draw. Look at my eyes compared to Danica Sills. Obviously, I like the way she draws her eyes. The issue I find with this emphasizing of learning of an art style is that people get stuck in this rut of wanting to find an art style instead of improving their art and gaining an art style as a result. There's like a weird debate on learning to stylistically versus anatomically too. My opinion is you can start either way, but if you start stylistically, you should learn anatomy at some point, no matter when that is. My issue number two, cause it's that time. Stealing an art style is not a thing. I don't know why in hell people think it is. Art style comes from the development of your art and the influences you have when developing said art. And shocker, if somebody has similar influences to you, they might, hold up, have a similar style to you. Their style also might be completely drastically different, even if they have similar or the same influences to you. Nobody has an official trademark or patent on an art style. The most you can have is on a character like Rebecca Sugar owning the characters in Steven Universe and Alex Hirsch owning Gravity Falls. Kind of like that. Yes, art styles are often used to identify an artist, and if you have a similar art style to someone, you might be mistaken for them, but oh my gosh, that's how the world works. I hate it when artists say that someone stole their style because you didn't buy that style with money. That style isn't your physical property or your intellectual property and is 100% susceptible to change. The only way to steal a style is to re-upload an art piece or trace over it. That's it. Last but not least, using an art style to avoid critique. Your art style I'm gonna put this on the screen for you. Your art style does not make you unable to be critiqued. There's a difference between making the decision to 
exaggerate a part of anatomy and not knowing enough anatomy to realize that your faces are way too long. I did that. It wasn't, it didn't look good. I understand it's hurtful to read someone saying, this sucks on something that you worked really hard upon. And it's also hurtful to hear critique from someone because it makes you feel like your piece is invalidated. You might have worked a really long time on that piece and people might say, oh, this is janky as all hell, what are you doing? That's hurtful, but it helps you improve. Just note that if someone goes, this sucks, that's not really critique or criticism at all. That's when you can say, I don't need you, hater. You're just a hater and I don't need you in my life. Um, and then there's unhelpful work on your anatomy. If you get one of those comments, I'd say, look, ask for specific. But if someone is specific saying, your line, the way you drew that line is really jagged. Try making it in one stroke. Or the arms on that character are way too long. They don't look natural. That's when you need to look at your piece and be like, did I do this on purpose? Is this actually thing? Yeah. No one is too good to be critiqued. Everyone is always improving. Do not think that your art style is an excuse to not take criticism. It never is. If you make a conscious decision in your art and someone points it out, tell them that you did it on purpose. But if it's not and someone points it out, please consider that it could be an issue and look back over your art. People who leave these types of comments do it because they see an issue and they want to bring it to your attention to improve, not to be mean. Ending stuff. I'm not quite sure what the point of this video is. I'm, I've literally done this in one night. I'm like, ooh, this is video material. Um, but I guess that's my thoughts on art styles. You don't need one. It comes from learning art. You can't steal one. If you use one attributed to someone else, say it's inspired by that person, but you're not committing an art, a crime or an art crime by doing so. Just because you have an art style does not make you above criticism. That's my dollar and 50 cents. I shall see you in the next video. Wow. Links to all my social media and all the media that I used within this video will be in the description below. I shall actually see you in the next video.